Santee Cooper, meeting the growing energy needs of the 21st century while protecting the environment and natural heritage of South Carolina through its innovative Santee Cooper Green programs. Santee Cooper Green presents Living Green. As a leader in the areas of conservation and renewable energy in South Carolina, Santee Cooper is aware of the cutting-edge technology necessary to make the most of our resources. They also realize the most basic principles must be followed as well. In practices like the recycling of ordinary household items, they really practice what they preach. We have to be a good corporate partner with the community. And we can't preach being a green company if we're not doing it as well. Um, the employees, we generate a lot of paper in offices. It's magazines, it's newspapers, it's publications. And this stuff just shouldn't end up in a landfill or, or littered on our highways. We have bins at every desk. We've got collection points all over the company for magazines and newspapers and white paper. It's important for us to do this because we have to keep these things out of the landfill. Um, that's just being a, a good steward. In a time when many businesses are going green, George Rubottom says it's a trend for companies to find uses for the otherwise useless. Definitely in corporate America there's a change where people are looking at recycling now, whereas before it was, might have seemed like something as a sideline sport or something that you get into if you, if you felt the need to. Now everybody's seeing that this is an important part of your business, that you have to pay attention to it. This is why Santee Cooper employees make recycling part of their workday. You're dealing with landfill spaces. Landfills have to grow. You know, no one wants landfills in their backyards. But if we don't start to do a better job of conservation and, and recycling, it has to go somewhere. But paper isn't the only thing many companies are trashing. Rubottom says it's important for people to know other trash heading to the landfill could also be reused you wouldn't see quite as much pollution along our highways and our, and our travelways here in South Carolina. Um, you wouldn't see probably the amount of waste in the waste stream in any organization if everyone just took the time to find out how they could help. Containers placed in every cubicle on each floor and in break areas make recycling easy. What we've got here is our recycling bins. In each building on each floor we have an area where the employees can come in and put their recyclables. And this is where they are segregated and broke down depending on the type. We've got aluminum cans and plastic bottles that can be recycled here. Along the bottom here, we have an area where you can recycle your batteries. And they're even segregated and broke down depending on if they're alkaline, lithium, or any other type of battery. If it doesn't fit into one of those two categories, you can place it there. Um, over here we have newspapers and magazines and we can also take white paper, just a, a general office paper that goes here. This is a convenient location because it's a high traffic area. It's where they come and they get their mail. So if they're going to generate a lot of paper, uh, whether it be junk mail or uh, old envelopes that need to be, they can do it right here. We've also got recycling locations located on either end of the building and we also have them in the canteen as well. So on any floor, no matter where you are, you're not very far from a place that you can recycle. One of the biggest hurdles we found in recycling was when things were not convenient for people to use. And by making recycling convenient at the office, Rubottom hopes it will be work employees take home with them at the end of the day. It's, it's definitely getting people on board, educating them, and then letting them see this. When they see this type of thing happening in the office building, they say, it's okay, I can understand that. It's not too hard for us to do. Matter of fact, that's quite easy. I'll try that at home. And the biggest thing for us is we go to the schools and we talk to the children, and when we get them involved at such an early age, it, it, it really helps. They become recyclers from early on, and they, and they grow up recycling. It's bigger than just a corner here at the office. It's actually trying to teach us a way to, a different way to survive, to exist. A way that helps our environment and it helps us uh, to reach our goals. Santee Cooper is using every available technology, both basic and advanced, to promote the conservation, recycling, and wise use of our resources. For more information about this or many other ideas for living green, visit SanteeCooperGreen.com. Living Green from Santee Cooper Green.